This is part three of our composite series. This is actually the last video of this uh, series. Uh, what we're gonna do right now is uh, we're gonna do the final adjustments, and I'm gonna start by adding sharpening to this image. We're gonna do that by uh, doing a copy, making a copy of our subject. We're gonna do that by pressing Control J. Then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Filter. Other and high pass. I'm gonna add five pixels of sharpening. Then I'm gonna click OK. Then I go to uh, blend modes and I'm gonna change that to soft light. All right. Then I get close to my image. I grab my brush and I'm gonna paint with a. Uh, we're gonna hide some of the effects because. When you add sharpening to the uh, face, it doesn't look really fluttering. So we're gonna add the, uh, we're gonna remove some of that sharpening of the face, as you can see. All right, we're removing that. I'm gonna click before and after. All right, as you can see, the eyes, the eyebrows, the hair, and the clothes is really sharp. But this part is not because we don't really want to do that because what this is going to do is just going to emphasize some of, some of his uh, imperfections and we, we don't want that. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my subject. I'm going to press FX. I'm going to go where it says drop shadow. And then as you can see we have a drop shadow right there. We have a shadow. I'm going to go where it says size. I'm going to change that. I'm going to play around with it. What this, is, what this does is it just blurs the... Uh, it blurs the shadow. We're gonna do that by 90% pixels. Then we're gonna click OK. We are going to separate this shadow from the subject. We can do that by going where it says drop shadow. I'm gonna uh, right click on drop shadow and then I click create layer. I'm gonna click OK. And that creates another drop shadow. I mean that creates a, that uh, separates the uh, the drop shadow from the subject and we do that because we need to do this we need to uh, press control T for trace transform and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna make it look like it is an actual shadow alright like so and there you go you press uh, control hold it hold it down and then you go to one of the corners and then you bring it down alright and there you go we're gonna click Enter. Now I'm gonna blur this a little bit more. I'm gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Then I'm gonna do about 45%. Then I go to uh, opacity and just play around with the opacity. Okay, about that is going to be good. 62. I'm gonna see the uh, before and after. So you can see there's our shadow. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to one of these adjustment layers. We're gonna add curves. We're gonna go in the middle and we're gonna bring it down a little bit. Alright. Then I'm gonna press V for my brush and I'm going to change the opacity to 50% and the flow to 50% too. Alright. And then I'm gonna start painting on this I'm gonna bring back some of the original color because if you have a shadow that means that there's a light heating the subject All right, there we go we're we gonna do before and after so now it looks more realistic okay what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna save this image Okay, now that once our image is saved, I want to go and import that image to Lightroom 5. I'm going to go where it says, I'm going to open up my Lightroom. I, ha uh, I had it already open. I'm going to go to import. Okay, and then I go to, uh, I know where it is. I'm going to go right here and select it. I'm going to import this image. Okay. Then I'm going to take the image to the uh, develop module. 
and I'm going to add one of my uh, signature black and white presets. In this case, let's see which one do I want. Then I'm going to go with the uh, Christian Aldi and I'm going to click OK. Okay. I'm going to take the, uh, I'm going to add some vignette into this. I'm going to go where it says effects. All right. Then I go to basic. And I'm going to bring back the uh, the clarity to, to zero because we already added some sharpening in Photoshop. The contrast back to zero too. And as you can see, that's our final image. All right, guys. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. My name is Christian Lopez, and don't forget to check www.2iphotography.com. More content coming soon. Thank you so much, and you have a great night.